In this demonstration, we are going to look at the steps that are required to set up the environment. There are two databases, one called Amer and the other called Euro. And the idea is to synchronize data between these two databases. The first two terminals on the top will be used to connect to the databases, while the terminals below will be used to connect to the corresponding Golden Gate installations for these two databases. So I would like to ensure we are connecting to the right database. I have set the environment in the top two. And similarly, for the Golden Gate also, let's ensure we have the right database settings and which I have taken care of now. The first thing we're going to do is create a user in both the databases, which will ensure a user is available through which synchronization is available. So to make things easier, we will create a user called West in America and East in Europe. So the schema names will be two different schemas through which the synchronization is going to be achieved. So let's log in to these databases. The next step for us is to create the user which Golden Gate would use through which it can log into the source or log into the target and perform operations. Step ensures I have created the user and I have granted him the DBA privileges. We now have to enable supplemental logging for these databases. That would ensure supplemental logging is enabled. We see that the query returns yes. Now let's see what in the target. Right now it is no. Log data. And now if I query, we see that supplemental logging has been enabled. That all the logs that will get generated going forward will have supplemental logging in it. Why I am doing this in the target also is at a later point in the course, we would be using bi-directional replication. With that, we have created the users, enabled the supplemental logging, and we are now in a situation where replication can be started. With this, the database environment setup is completed.